Donald Trump has found a new enemy. Rather, he's rediscovered an old enemy. And no, it's not Kamala Harris. It's not her running mate either. In fact, it's not a human being at all. Trump's new enemy is windmills. You may think it's because he likes oil and gas or because he's a climate change denier, but that is not the reason why. The real reason that wind is kryptonite for Donald Trump is his hair. A strong gush could dent his ratings, certainly more than the criminal cases ever did. But what exactly is his grievance? Well, Trump's understanding of windmills is rudimentary. He says if the wind doesn't blow, your TV won't turn on. Needless to say, that's not how wind energy works, and it doesn't end there. Trump has had some crazy theories about windmills, theories he keeps recycling and repeating. I guess at least the joke is renewable. That's the stuff that powers the plants. It's not wind that goes around and around. And darling, let's watch the president's State of the Union speech tonight. Uh, I'm sorry, we won't be able to do it. The wind isn't blowing, darling. If you want to see a bird cemetery, go under a windmill sometime. You'll see birds like you never saw. It's a very, if you love birds, you'll start to weep. But it's, it's just the craziest thing. They ruin our planes and fields. They're killing our whales. What? You can blow up a pipeline. You can blow up the windmills. You know, the windmills. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Bing, that's the end of that windmill. If you have a windmill anywhere near your house, congratulations. Your house just went down 75% in value. No, 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 no. Suranja, you have a And they say the noise causes cancer. You tell me that one, okay? <laughs> Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the nation's capital. 